Welcome to Sunday Morning Devotional. Brought to you by www.primitivebaptists.org. Join us each Sunday at 9 a.m. on youtube.com slash Sunday Morning Devotional. Our speaker today is V. Vernon Eckleberry, pastor of Bay Branch Primitive Baptist Church in Belleville, Georgia. Now, grab your Bible, here's this morning's devotional. Good morning. As you can see, we have a Western theme this morning, and this is in honor of those pioneers that went westward and settled in places like Texas, among whom was a wagon train of primitive Baptists who settled in what is now Fort Parker. They underwent terrible hardships, and we'll say more about that in the weeks to come. And now our lesson, the beginning after the end. As a former science teacher, I was always interested in finding the areas where Christianity and science most disagreed. The strongest conflicts I found were convictions with science and Christianity disagreed among themselves. One source of conflicting opinions among Christians revolves around the return of Christ, or the doctrine of end times. But first, I'd like for us to consider, why should I care about the second coming of Jesus, knowing more about that which will happen when he comes again. Well, mainly because Jesus and the New Testament writers thought it important enough to address the subject over and over. And also because an understanding of Christ's return affects our conduct, our worldview, and our happiness or lack thereof. C.S. Lewis reduced the coming of Christ to three absolutes, truths upon which all the doctrines of final things rest. Three absolutes about which there is no controversy. And we're going to find these in the book of Mark, the 13th chapter. First of all, Jesus will certainly come again. Mark 13, verse 26. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Secondly, we can't possibly know when. Verse 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. And thirdly, then, we must always be ready. Verse 33, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. So those are three absolutes regarding the coming of Christ on which we can base all other doctrines. We know that Jesus will certainly come again. Mark 13, 26, we know we can't possibly know when. Mark 13, 32, and therefore, we must always be ready. Mark 13, 33. We live in a world Christ predicted. And we can find some of these things in the 21st chapter of Luke. Let's follow along beginning at verse 10. Jesus said unto them, that's his disciples, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven, or in the heavens. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers, for my name's sake. Now that tells us of the persecution that comes upon Christians because of their belief in Christ. And I believe that has already begun. Ye shall be hated, we read in Luke 21, verse 17. 
You'll be hated of all men for my name's sake because of Christ. But here's good news. There shall not a hair of your head perish. Man may hurt you. Man may bring you grief. Man might even kill you. But he cannot touch that spirit that God places within us. So there we have a picture of what things shall look like as the end times draw near. Many of these are obviously already beginning in our day. But while unbelievers face a terrible tribulation, believers like you have something better. Verse 26 in this 21st chapter, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Bad news for the world, good news for the people of God. Verse 31, So likewise ye, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Peter tells us what the people of God can look forward to in these days. He says, Nevertheless we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's Second Peter 3.13. For God's people, there is a beginning after the end. Now may God be with you till we meet again. Thank you for watching Sunday Morning Devotional. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday at 9 a.m. right here on this YouTube channel. Have a blessed Lord's Day.